Hello everybody, welcome back. It's been about a month, but here we are as promised, a video on how to rebuild an FA for your E-Series in ESIS. Let's get it. Let's first adjust the resolution here so everybody can see. I'm going to make it nice and big. There we go. And we're going to start ESIS. While that's loading up, you want to load up your favorite browser and head to that website, bimmer.work. You're going to enter the last seven digits of the VIN of your head unit, not your vehicle, but your head unit. You're going to need this information to rebuild your FA. So ESIS should be loading up here slowly. But surely, once it does, we'll get started. Some of the words are going to be in German, and I don't speak not even an ounce of German, so. We'll get this started. Oh, wow. Let's just readjust this resolution. Hopefully it will stay. In the comments below, please leave uh, any comments or whatever ideas on what videos you want me to do next. I do have a list of things I want to go through, but if somebody has something really important that they want to see right away, I kind of want to slowly get into more advanced stuff so you ease your way in but I'm always open to suggestions okay so here we go so you want to go to file new make sure in the editors and viewers now you should be able to see this now that the res resolution is nice and big there's red X marks everywhere there's a red X mark we're going to be filling in that information except for I oh don't know it's in here. So we're going to do VIN log. And that's your VIN number right here. So you can copy and paste that. But I'm going to type it in real boss style here. Next is this word, and that's the series of your vehicle, or the type, or development code, sorry. And you're going to put a zero in there, so it's G011 if you happen to have the same code as mine. It's G011. Black code is the color and you're going to add a zero before the a so it'll be zero a eight nine right click this zero a eight nine poster code is the upholstery and that's this right here lcmy This tip schusel. Uh, if that's how you pronounce it, is a type seven B zero one. Also, it's a little late to say this, but you don't have to be connected to your vehicle to do this. So you could be in the comfort and safety of your home sitting on your favorite couch, doing whatever it is that you do. This last one here is the build date. And that you could see here as well. Production date. Now, the first two digits is the month. The next two digits is the year, so it's four digits. So it'll be like 
one five. However, when I use that number, it doesn't work. So it seems like only October or November is a month that um, the production date works. But try your original production date. If it works, congrats. If it doesn't, uh, use November or October. So mine, November works. So it's 3115, or just three ones and then five. Enter. And then the next element we're going to do is the Sala, Salapa element, or S-A-L-A-P-A -A element. And how this works is that you go back to here, and you're going to go to the options. And all these option codes from 1CA here all the way down to the bottom. You want to copy all those option codes, those three digit option codes, and put a comma in between the three digit option codes. Now what I did is I copied and I pasted this into a Word document, removed everything but those three codes, and added in those commas. So you could do the same thing, and you could just paste it. And what you want to do is, to save it, you press Control and Enter. And then that gets you out of here so that you can come up here and save it. And we want to do this as an FA Rebuild Demo. Last thing you want to do, right click FA, calculate FP, boom, that's it, we're done.